My name is uh, Hans Chen. I'm an assistant professor at uh, the Department of Space, Earth and uh, Environment at uh, Chalmers University of Technology. So my research is about uh, climate system dynamics. Uh, that means that I study the interactions between various components of the climate system, such as the atmosphere, land and ocean, to understand uh, what gives rise to different patterns and variations in the climate. And uh, one of my focuses is uh, on the Arctic climate system. So the Arctic has uh, experienced accelerated climate change in recent decades. Uh, the warming there has been about two to four times faster than the global average. And uh, this has have a, had a big impact uh, on the local environment. So for example, we have observed that um, the vegetation in the Arctic has expanded and has led to an overall greening of the Arctic. Uh, so I want to uh, study then uh, how this amplified Arctic warming has uh, affected those ecosystems and how they interact. This research is uh, important because uh, ecosystems can take up uh, carbon dioxide from the air and thereby reduce the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Uh, but at the same time, there's a huge amount of carbon stored in the Arctic permafrost. So as this uh, permafrost warms and thaws, it will release some of this carbon back into the atmosphere as greenhouse gases. So I hope my research will shed some light on uh, whether the Arctic will act as a net source or as a sink of greenhouse gases in the future. So the Hasselblad Foundation grant will help me grow my research group uh, by recruiting a postdoc who will work on this research together with me. And uh, I'm very excited about uh, this research because uh, I previously worked quite a lot with the Arctic climate system and also on carbon cycle dynamics, but never uh, both of them together. So the support from the Hasselblad Foundation allows me to combine those two research interests and to explore this new, very interesting uh, research direction. Uh, my name is Daniel Boyar, and I'm an assistant professor in bioinformatics at the University of Gothenburg in the Department of Chemistry and Molecular Biology. My research is about decoding complex sugar molecules, or glycans, in mammalian breast milk. These sugars are really important for infants to develop properly and to protect them from disease. Uh, one current issue, however, in this area is that we don't know how many of these molecules actually exist, uh, or how they look like. And even for the ones that we do know about, we often don't know what they do, what their function is. So my team develops and uses methods such as AI to understand the chemical diversity of these milk glycans, and then also finds out what they, what they do. Uh, so we routinely analyze breast milk from all kinds of mammals, like whales, rhinos, or alpacas, and uh, um, we've already discovered more than 100 new uh, sugar molecules in their, in their milk. And for some of them, we even found out what they do. So one example would be um, that these sugar molecules can strongly stimulate the human immune system. This research could be really important, uh, especially in the context of understanding the nutritional and immunological properties of breast milk. And especially in the context of infant health, we um, believe that there could be a strong potential for um, preventing infection, for instance, and also developing new nutritional supplements. So here, uh, the, the most important um, aspect would be infant formula, where we hope that the molecules that we newly discover could then be at some point added to infant formula to um, protect the infant better. Uh, another aspect that is important to me is uh, conservation. So our goal is to catalog the breast milk contents of as many mammals as possible. And that in turn might help conservation efforts to then prioritize which species to protect better, maybe because they have especially precious or um, important breast milk. So we already have um, many samples uh, of milk from new species such as zebra or um, oryx uh, that we have in our freezer and that I'm really looking forward to seeing what's hiding in them so to find these new structures that they, um, they produce, these new sugars that we don't find in, in humans, for instance. The Hasselblad Foundation grant is really important for me because it, it allows us to continue this research. So what it will do is it will fund a, a key position in this project and allow my team to continue our, our groundbreaking research in that area. It's also important for me at, my, at this stage in my career so that I can uh, expand my, my young research team 
and help me further develop as a scientist in this area.